Hello, good day viewers. Uh, in our previous lesson, you have seen that we have driven some of these fundamental formulas. And we have driven these formulas for a purpose because they will guide us in our subsequent problems. Today we are going to look on to how we can apply these formulas to solve some linear combination of Laplace problems. So if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content. And don't forget to share and hit the like button. Before we dive in, there is something very important that I want to let you know. Suppose you are given a Laplace transform of some constant A multiplied by a certain function f of t. This is the same thing as saying the constant multiplied by the Laplace transform of that function f of t. And suppose we are given a uh, a Laplace transform of a function f of t plus o minus another function say g of t. This is the same thing as finding the Laplace transform of each of these functions separately. Laplace transform of f of t plus o minus uh, the Laplace transform of g of t. The first problem we are given that if f of t equals to 6 exponential negative 5t plus exponential 3t minus 9, find the Laplace transform of this function. So here on my screen you can see different formulas that are applicable in finding these problems. So the Laplace transform of this function f of t is equal to, we are now going to apply Laplace transform to each individual terms. So the first one, we factor 6 out, then we take the Laplace transform of exponential negative 5t plus the Laplace transform of exponential 3t minus the Laplace transform of our constant 9. This is equal to f of s because we are now going to transform this function from t wall into s wall. This is 6 and you can see this correspond to uh, the Laplace transform of exponential 80 where our a here is negative 5 so we are going to have 1 divided by s minus a and our a is negative 5. So we have negative 5 as well. Then plus the same formula, we are going to say 1 divided by s minus a and our a is 3 here. Minus. You can see from the first formula, we have Laplace transform of 1 which is equal to 1 over s. This implies that the Laplace transform of a constant is the same thing as constant divided by s. So a constant here is 9 divided by s. Now let us further simplify. This is equal to 6 times 1 is 6 divided by, we have negative negative which is going to be positive. So we have s plus 5 plus 1 divided by s minus 3, then minus 9 over s. This is our new function of s. Now let us look on to the second problem. Given that f of t is equal to 4 cos 4t minus 9 sine 4t plus 2 cos 10t, find the Laplace transform of this function. So as well, the Laplace transform of this function f of t It's going to be, we factor 4 out from the first term. We take the Laplace transform of cos 4t minus, we factor a constant out. We take the Laplace transform of sine 4t 
plus our constant 2 times the Laplace transform of cos 10t. From here, we are going to transform this Laplace transform from t wall to s wall, which is now going to be f of s equal to. Uh, you can see from this, which correspond to cosine is equal to s divided by s squared plus b squared, and here our b is 4. So we have 4, then multiply by s divided by s squared plus b squared, and our b is 4, so we have 4 squared. Minus 9, multiply by the Laplace transform of sine 40, which correspond to b divided by s squared plus b squared. So this is b, our b is 4, so we have 4 divided by s squared plus b squared, which is 4 squared, plus 2, which is the constant, multiplied by the Laplace transform of cos 10t, and this corresponds to s divided by s squared plus b squared, and our s is still s divided by s squared plus b squared, and our b squared is going to be 10 squared. If we further simplify, we get 4 times s is 4s divided by s squared plus 4 squared, which is 16, plus no, minus, minus 9 times 4 is um, 36. So we have 36 divided by s squared plus 4 squared, which is 16. Then plus 2 times s is 2s divided by s squared plus 10 squared, which is 100. So therefore, this is the Laplace transform of this function f of t. Now let us look on to the last problem which I have for you for today. It is given as f of t equals to 3 sine 2t plus 4t to the power of 3. We are asked to find the Laplace transform of this function. So we are going to take the Laplace transform of f of t, which is the same thing as taking the Laplace transform of this. We factor 3 out. We take the Laplace transform of sine 2t plus we factor 4 out. We take the Laplace transform of t to the power of 3. This is equal to 3 multiplied by the Laplace transform of this, which correspond to b divided by s squared plus b squared, and our b is 2, so we have 2 divided by s squared plus 2 squared plus 4 times the Laplace transform of t to the power of 3. And you can see that if we take the Laplace transform of t to the power of n, it is the same thing as n factorial divided by s to the power of n plus 1, and our n here is going to be 3. So we say 3 factorial divided by s to the power of n, and our n is still 3, plus 1. This is equal to 3 times 2 is 6, divided by s squared plus 2 squared is 4, plus, we know that uh, 3 factorial is the same thing as saying 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6, and 6 times 4 is 24, so we have 4, 24, divided by s to the power of 4. This is the new function of s. So this is exactly how to find a Laplace transform of series of some linear combination of functions. So thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.